living in the seventh dimension. This is literally the world of things. The pressure maps, the objects, the catalogue of objects that we know, of the objects that we're looking for, the object relations with which we're brought up, you know, the furniture, our neighbourhood, our idea of objectivity, our idea of the objective world. The world of things, the catalogue of things, the different sizes and shapes and rotation of things, the corners on things. This is the seventh dimension. This is what the seven is. It's a corner. The corners on objects where we can identify what it is. The shapes, the volumes. This is the world of minerals, of stone, of molecules, of octaves, of scales, of measuring. The world of things, how we identify and classify how we measure and size and grade all of these are in the seventh dimension of our minds when we know these things we're a scholar and we select the right things we've got taste so the input is taste we taste we put the object to our mouth this is our mouth put the object to our mouth and taste it so we know whether it tastes nice and we want to eat more of it or whether it's going to make us spit it out or be sick so we recognize it and throw it away so we have taste you know we have taste we where our hands pick things put it to our mouth taste throw away or eat more get more of those leaves more of those apples collect more so you can see how this gets tangled in with covetousness and with greed and therefore with obesity trying to compensate trying to get your own way by getting things when the flow of things is just in the mind you know they'll come, they'll break down and be thrown away and be recycled by a remorse this is, these are the things that you've collected, that you've accumulated that you've hoarded, all these things that weigh you down 